This tutorial covers the creation of a site structure for an ePortfolio website using NetObjects Fusion. Now you can launch NetObjects Fusion either from the Start menu or from an icon located on your desktop. When you launch NetObjects Fusion, you're given two options for creating your site. You can use either the New Site option or the Site Wizard, which uses a predefined set of templates. We're going to use the new site option because we are going to define our own template and when you click on this button you're, you're first required to specify where you want to store your project work. Now by default NetObjects seeks to store your work on the C drive. We're going to navigate over to the thumb drive which you're required to use in this course and we'll specify a name for the uh, folder to con that's to contain our work. You can use your last name for this purpose. And then click the Save button. Now it's important that you store all of your work on your external thumb drive and that you bring it with you at all times. The first screen that comes up in NetObjects Fusion is uh, one that presents you with uh, the site structure and initially by default you have only one page in your site structure but what we're going to do is click on the new page icon to add several others so we're going to click on this three times and each of these icons I'm going to relabel them will stand for the subordinate pages in our site structure now the basic organization of the ePortfolio website it is, is as follows. You have a, a home page at the top, a resume page, a links page which will provide links to sites of uh, related interest, and then finally the actual portfolio page which will contain uh, artifacts of your work in not only net, uh, new technologies for learning but other courses such as your methods courses, Ed Foundations, etc. So let's add two subordinate pages to the portfolio page and notice that when I click on a page icon it's outlined in blue to indicate that it's selected. We'll click on the new page speed button twice and the first subordinate or child page will be labeled NTFL the second page will just label foundations because that's where your work for Ed Foundations will go. We have a collaboration going on between these two courses where students are from the get-go putting their work up in their ePortfolio site. Last but not least, we're going to click File, Save Site to save this structure and we will then click on the next speed button uh, icon to the right of the site icon. If we click on the home page icon, that will then indicate that that's specified. Let's now click on page to bring up a view of that actual page in the site structure. Now this takes just a moment to shake and bake. Notice that the uh, page that's come up has quite a bit of structure to it already. There's a banner at the top indicating the uh, the uh, title of the page. There are some navigation buttons on the left. There's a layout area in the middle. There's some text links at the bottom. And then there's some self-promotional advertising by the NetObjects Fusion folks. I'm going to click on that and just delete it because we're not doing any free advertising for them. And I'm also going to click on the subordinate text uh, uh, links to get rid of them also. So in that objects, you're going to work in two areas. You'll either work in the master border area or in the layout area. And actually, most of the changeable content of your website will be in this inner layout area. The surrounding area is referred to as the uh, uh, master border and we have a left master border, a right master border, a bottom master border, and a top master border. We'll describe a little bit more of the function of these areas and what goes into them next.